Welcome everyone to another video of Body's Passive Income. I'm Dominic Badiato and this is your Movers and Shakers of the Week. Uh, slightly different, interesting video today. I'm trying to mix things up a little bit. Uh, same thing, actually made this slide look better. I offer an Amazon Merch SEO service, uh, FBA PPC service. Here's like an image of it, link in the description. Uh, these are kind of old sales. I'm well over 7,000 now. Five star reviews, 28 reviews. Um, check it out if you haven't if you're interested i have a lot of repeat customers and people who are saying it's working for them so there you go here's something interesting this is search volume and if you prefer this over me just showing you different designs that are kind of moving and shaking but instead what keywords are people searching for this is so far in the month of january you can see some of the search volume um if you prefer this style instead of the other style or hybrid style, let me know. But I thought this was interesting as this is a new feature in Merch Informer. If you don't use Merch Informer, it's paid. Uh, that's what I use to help put some of this stuff together. Link down below. Uh, Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant's death is coming up on the 26th. Obviously, be careful uh, with that because it is trademark and copyright. Uh, Christmas shirts are still very popular for whatever reason. Stranger Things, obviously, you're not going to sell a Stranger Things. Uh, but there are things you can sell that are Stranger Things related, um, like this camp one right here. And so you can just be crafty with it. Uh, Halloween shirts, I don't know why those are popping off right now. I could not tell you. Uh, Hawaiian shirts for men. I'm personally going to Hawaii at the uh, end of June to renew my vows. So using my, uh, my passive income money to pay for that. Uh, flannel shirt for men, so flannel designs. You've actually seen this happen quite a lot. Maternity shirts, uh, not a huge niche that people haven't really got into, so there's definitely opportunities to be creative with uh, um, maternity shirts in Colombia. I don't know what's going on with Colombia, but Colombia shirts, they're being searched for. So those are all opportunities for you to make money. Like I said, if you prefer this method over this method, let me know in the comments down below. Also, like, comment, subscribe. would greatly appreciate it. would like to get to 3,000 subs by the end of the month. I don't think that's going to happen, but one could wish for it. All right. Uh, Green Bay football. Obviously, this is the Packers. This is what I mean is there's ways around things. Obviously, they're not putting Packers in here, so they just put Green Bay because it's, it's the name of a city. Um, and they put football, so you put Las Vegas football, Los Angeles football, New York football. You can get away with it. Terrible SEO, but... You know, if Green Bay's Packers aren't selling stuff, they can slide in. If somebody just puts Green Bay football, they would pop up. So, um, I'm not sure. I'm just more down to earth than most people. Don't know why this is popping off all of a sudden. Uh, decent SEO, decent price. Rodith and Waves, and I'm not even going to read all that. It's a lot of fancy words. OBX, Towns of Hysteria, Island. I have no Outer Banks. I think is it a song, a music video that somebody just put some of the lyrics or something? I don't know. Uh, Kamala. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Um, never seen this one before. Um, so it's a comma instead of Kamala. So I actually think this is actually a pretty interesting design um, for them. They have definitely. Uh, I don't know why they put pink green in the title, but definitely decent SEO. Uh, Guatemala soccer, I don't know what's up with Guatemala soccer right now. I guess same thing with Colombia. I have no idea, but it's popular, and it seems to have done good and good, bad, and then good again. Sorry, no habla. I'm not going to read that because I don't want to get demonetized. Um, I don't know what that's in relation to. I uh, I've, you're actually going to see this later on as well when I do the bonus section. I just want to work in my garden and hang out with my chickens. Why that's such a thing, I could not tell you because you're going to see it pop up again. Uh, I don't know if it's just a garden niche. Like, there's lots of little sub-niches and niches out there that like maternity that people just don't really think of gardening. Because so everybody hits political, everybody hits... Um, just trending words like inauguration, Valentine, stuff like that. You know, there's birthdays, there's opportunities here for people to make money. And for the love of God, for the, for the love of God, pop sockets, people. I'm telling you, pop sockets are very popular. I started selling them in the UK. I, you know, I never sell them in the UK. Um, I started doing it, and I make at least like five, ten dollars a day, or pounds in the UK just off pop sockets. Uh, best dog ever. Uh, interesting. It's a personalized, uh, funny, but I like how they put personalized in the title. Uh, but you can do, you know, just be careful with the font sizes where it gets tricky. You know, best Dominic ever, best Sarah ever, best Melissa ever, whatever. Um, it's a good uh, opportunity to get an evergreen shirt with different names. It's just going to take a lot of work. 
Uh, 406, I'm assuming that's the area code. Why, I don't know, Montana, why that's a cool shirt. I don't know. It seems like very, very sub niche only people in the 406 would actually buy that. Uh, a vintage, so this is just another take on like birthdays. Um, I'm glad they didn't put 40th in the actual shirt and then they can just change it in the title, but it's nothing crazy why this particular one's taken off. I don't know, but if you can get into these trends and evergreens, you can really take off. Uh, I can't have plans in the basement. Terrible text. It seems like stretched out or something. I don't know why people are even buying this. Uh, workshop DIY. Um, I don't know. This is another interesting one that I wanted to share. Bar. I'm a 3 Rex. I have not seen that before. I'm a 3 Rex or I'm a 2 Rex. Um, it's a good play, some niche of a kid's birthday. So this is one that's also, if you can, if you can break into the space of something creative like 3 Rex. Um, you could probably make a decent amount of money doing. Uh, here's another one. This is a bonus one where it's long sleeve shirts uh, because you guys should be selling in multiple categories uh, uh, if you have the slots available outside of tier 10 or maybe just try this if it, other you know, t-shirts are too crowded, try this or pop sockets. Uh, I just want to work in my garden and hang out with my chickens. Once again, different design. Why this is taking off, I could not tell you. Tendies, just a don't know it's a Japanese chicken tender I don't know and I'm only talking to my cat today these are uh, always very popular cat shirts are very popular shirt long sleeve they didn't even put a freaking title um, how it even gets ranked I could not tell you which is probably why it's going back up and then lastly pop sockets um, names names and initials for pop sockets like you can just do a simple design and throw your name on there put Bob put Sarah put Michelle put uh, Ralph, I don't know, just put a name and you can probably sell it, especially if you just do like a really cool design like these donut ones, is really cool, or just a space theme, like you can Google image a space theme and throw this text over it in like Canva or something. Um, you don't even have to get as creative as this one. Anyway, I'm just saying the opportunities are there. Pop sockets do sell well, and it's a real easy market to break into and get out of tier 10. So maybe try focusing on pop sockets. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what format you prefer, more the search term or more this. Let me know or mix. Mix just means more work for me, but I do whatever you guys want. So let me know, and I will talk to you guys on Friday for the Friday Q&A. Hope to have lots of questions. Take care.